We're gonna be doing a day in the life of a plein air painter today. Spilling coffee everywhere. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully I don't have coffee on myself. My name is Kyle Martin, and in today's video we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than what we normally do. We're gonna be doing a day in the life. It's 6.45, I woke up about 6.20, put my clothes on, Corbin had a French press of coffee waiting for me, and Porter and I are just stretching our legs a little bit and walking down the driveway and back. It's Friday, August 13th. Friday the 13th. I just have a couple of things going on today that I thought would kind of make for a cool day in the life. I always go skateboarding first right away in the morning. Find that it helps to stretch me out and get my day going. I have two paintings to work on today. After I skateboard, I'm gonna come back here and work on those two paintings. They're sunflower paintings that I have set up outside on a table and I'm just gonna set up my easel and finish those paintings off. After that, I'm actually kind of excited. I'm gonna head over to an Amish cabinet maker's shop. I had a couple of guys make me some frames. The wood that they used was actually wood that they had harvested, and the person who's making them, their dad has a sawmill, so they actually sawed the boards right from trees that grew 20 miles from the farm here. After that, that's all that I have planned. I know that there's gonna be more going on because it's a busy time right now. I'm trying to get my studio ready for something kind of exciting that's coming up. Those are the things that I have planned so far. I'm drinking some nice coffee from Door County. It's Door County Chocolate Cherry from the Door County Coffee Company. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is head to the skate park and get warmed up for the day. What do you think about that? Porter, what do you think about that? Yeah, he likes it. I like the mornings here at the skate park. It's all shaded. The sun hasn't risen high enough to throw light onto the park yet. Everything's in shade. Porter likes it here in the morning too, and this is how I get away with having him here. Now I built a little fence. Come on, buddy. Come on, Porty. That wasn't the best landing, but that took me way too many tries to land. I've been skating for 26 minutes so far. That trick took me like 10 minutes to land. I like that you get into trying a trick and you're just trying it, going back, trying it again. That's the thing that gets me warmed up. Even though it took a little bit, it's cool. All right, these tricks are taking me a long time this morning. I came here to get warmed up. I think I'm just gonna chill and uh, may I'll film one more trick. The thing about painting live sunflowers is that 
they wilt and they kind of fall over and everything else but that's life and that's what we paint had a fun session at the skate park that was actually really good yesterday in the morning i was kind of dragging a little bit i pulled weeds all day it'll be probably nine o'clock by the time i start painting this is a window of time for me from about 9 a.m until noon that is a productive window where i can get a lot of quality work done i listened to the andrew huberman podcast he's a neuroscientist at stanford and he posted a podcast the other day that kind of confirmed a little bit about my daily schedule he wakes up at 6 30 every day and so do i and he he made a podcast talking about his day which i guess kind of is influencing me making this video today his body temperature is at the lowest at about four in the morning if you subtract like two or two and a half hours from when you wake up every day that's going to tell you when your body temperature is the lowest and so my body temperature is the lowest at 4 a.m and that's a good thing to know because what it actually tells you is that at about five or five and a half hours after your body's lowest temperature that's when all of your systems are running at their best and when you have a great window of opportunity to get some good work done. It's nice to have a little clarification on that because if I didn't know that, maybe I would rush out and just start painting right away in the morning. But to me, it's better to get outside and do some sort of physical activity first thing in the morning and then utilize that window of opportunity, which is really gonna be the best window of the day for me to get a little bit of painting done. That's something to keep in mind. I'm trying to work with my natural rhythms and I'm trying to work with what my body is telling me so that I can do my best work. Going skateboarding in the morning, it's just great for mental health, physical health. I've made a commitment to balance in my life and I still want to work hard as a painter and do all the things that I want to do, but I want to do so in a way that respects my body and myself and, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going to get my things out and I'm going to start painting. noon I'm finishing up this painting I had a moment where I put my umbrella up and a little bit of wind came through and or knocked the whole easel down and that's always what you're dealing with when you're working in plein air this one definitely captures that feeling of summer sunflowers it's lunchtime though now we're going to take a break in the production for lunch. I'm gonna have some potatoes and lentils for lunch and a vegan protein shake. And then we're gonna head out into Amish country and go pick up these frames. I know on this channel, you're always seeing me work on two paintings back to back. And the reason for that is it takes about a half hour for me to get into a painting session. And in a painting like today, the second painting, just even though the umbrella took the easel crashing down, it really just rolled off the brush in a way that was enjoyable for me. And I was able to just really sink into the painting. And that's why I do two paintings back to back. Well, I had lunch, I had potatoes and lentils, and I'm in the van. I'm headed out to the cabinet shop 
I'm going to check with Eddie about my frames and I'm excited to see what he has. So let's head out to the Amish cabinet shop and pick up these frames. Well, I've got the frames here. Of course, I didn't film when I was inside the cabinet shop. Here's the leaving the Amish farm with the laundry blowing in the wind. I've got a stack of frames right here and I've got some framing to do this afternoon and this evening. I'm gonna turn the camera off, I'm gonna drive safe. I'm trying to order 10 or 20 frames every week until the fall art tour because they're really handsome frames and I wanna have something new and special for the fall art tour this year. Well, I got the frames. Of course, I want to rip off the cellophane off of them and take a look at them right now, but I'm always talking with my students that motion is lotion and that you got to get your 10,000 steps in every day. I'm only, I just looked at my cell phone, I only have 5,000 steps and I'm trying to get to 10,000 steps by 3 p.m. I try every day to get to 10,000 steps by 3 p.m. Even when I'm teaching at school, I get to 10,000 by the end of the school day because with coronavirus we always go outside and take masks breaks and walk around the track and I'm just trying to keep movement in my day. It's a slower part in the day. I could just go right into starting the frame, but I think that taking the dog for a walk around the loop is the right idea for right now. It'll probably end up being about an hour and a half walk, but, um, and about five miles. I think that it's time for that now rather than to start the framing. And then Corbin will be home once we're done. So I've got the leash, I gotta find the dog, and we're gonna take a walk. You ever feel like a sheep on a hot day? Oh, those sweaters have to be hot. I hope I caught, capture that on camera. I just happened to be shooting a time warp and a huge turkey. Porter sniffed out a huge turkey out of the ditch. Okay, it's about 5.30 in the afternoon. Bella got home and we have been working together to frame these paintings up. These are the frames from the Amish cabinet maker that I just picked up and I'm really happy with them. There, I don't know if you can tell. I'm gonna take it outside and show off these frames. But there's kind of a nice, rich, almost like warm undertone to these frames that I'm really, that I'm enjoying. And I think that they're going to be a hit once we have them all hung up in here. So that's the next thing is taking down some of these shelves over here and hanging the new paintings up in its place. Okay, I'll be right in, dear. Well, we've hit a wall. It's time for dinner now, but these frames are really adding a handsome presentation to my paintings. Here's one. Here's one. We're getting a good jump on the fall art tour by doing this stuff now rather than waiting until the week before the fall art tour to do everything. I'm the type of person who needs to remind themselves to have breaks and I need to go in the house and have dinner for a while and regain some energy. All right, dinner is done and I've got one more hour of work ahead of me. Uh, thanks so much for checking in with this, this day in the life video. I didn't really know how it was gonna go or what we were gonna do beyond just painting this morning and getting the frames, but here we are, it's the end of the day. There's still more to do. After this, it's gonna be 8.30 and that's my hour of time to just 
chill out, watch some YouTube videos, and get ready for the day tomorrow. Hoping to frame a couple more things and get some paintings on the wall during this last hour of the day. I got the dog out here with me, and we're going to make this happen. All right, we'll catch you guys in next week's video. Thanks so much for checking this out. This is one I just did in Bayfield. Nice summertime fields. But still rush. feels so fresh in here and everything feels so new and by painting the floor it's just like framing it gives the paintings a even better presentation than before i haven't felt this feeling of having the chicken coop floor painted in a couple of years i didn't paint it last year because there was the pandemic and i didn't have a big show here last year But this year, I do.